Put some respect on my name. I drank Gary. Hello, loves. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Andrea Barra. And in this video, I'm just going to give you guys a little bit rundown on what has been happening in my life lately. And it's just necessarily life in general, life in my early 20s and all. Yeah, <laughs> just quick, 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 quick video on everything happening in my life. Why I haven't been posting lately, or why I've just been absent from YouTube. Feel free to watch to the end of this video. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, turn on the post notification to get this one when I drop a new video. Give this video a thumbs up, and without further ado, let's dive into the video. Um, I think I'm in that part of my life where I feel like I'm not doing enough or I'm not where I'm supposed to be and I'm putting pressure on myself a whole lot feeling like I'm not doing enough let me tell you I have a whole lot of responsibility on my head like I have school I have family I have finances I have so many 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 things on my head and I just feel like I'm not doing enough I don't want to say I'm depressed but I'm not just in a in a position where I feel like I should be at my age Nigeria is not making it easy for me for most of my peers out there we are feeling like oh what the western world are doing what people of our age in the western world are doing we have not accomplished half of that and lately it's been mm, just keep grinding just keep doing your thing finish a phase first i'm just telling myself all these things finish a phase first then you concentrate on the other but for me i feel like i can multitask a whole lot so I'm trying as much as possible to multitask something that is not multitaxable. This one I've not gotten this. This one I've not gotten that. Am I am I am I literally moving? Like is my life going as planned as I want it to? Or is my life going the way I plan it? If you really don't know, I've I'm in my final year in the university. I'll get a BSc attached to my name soon. Put some respect on my name. It's not easy. It's not easy at all. In a month time, I'll be a graduate, undergraduate to unemployed kind of thing, and it's it's really shaking me off a little bit. But I don't know what I'm going to see on the other side of being a graduate. But I just pray that it's going to be something that is beneficial to me trying to venture into new things and moving on to education as i told you earlier on i'm almost a graduate I'm the first graduate of my family like my dad from my dad i'm the first graduate i'm the first born if you don't know i'm the first daughter and everything is like i have so many pressure i have so many people to live up to so many things to get done so many people to impress especially my parents a whole lot i owe them a lot because it has not been easy in this four years journey in the university i came here to worry thinking that oh okay i can get it done but <laughs> life showed me shaking i drank gary well, first off um the project supervisor they assigned to me was not what i wanted but talking to people they were like oh this man is is he's a professor is one of the best you get your project done ASAP you get a review on it ASAP you don't have to wait for two weeks to just get your chapter one done I was like okay fine if God wants it to then why not another reason why I just left like that was people were saying that oh to get your supervisor changed you have to write a letter to your HOD and everything and I'm not ready to pass through that stress I'm not ready to pass through that stress. We are planning our final year week in September. 
I'll find out their week and maybe from there after my project defense I know what life has in stake for me and I just feel like it should be something good something amazing you get me results came out and there's this particular woman that has been giving me e, e, e. like she has been bombarding me with ease in her results and I'm just praying to God that this 400 level first semester results that is going to come out I don't have E in a course because her course is like a 3 unit course and it needs something like a C, a B or an A well aside from that all my results have been nice my friends ha! like I can't believe that after school everything that happened in my secondary school like we going our separate ways going to happen in the university too but I'm still going to keep contact so another thing is my finances I have my personal hygiene to take care of because I'm a lady I need to look good, I need to smell good even though I feel like I'm not doing enough I need to go out more I'm in my 20, early 20s I need to vibe I need to go move out of my comfort zone try new things go to new places but honey, Nigeria is not letting me do all those like when you feel like oh I want to do something, <laughs> you enter a supermarket. Something that you bought for one thousand five hundred naira now is already three k. How do you expect any any adult, any young adult starting life to to cope? The minimum wage is still the minimum wage. Like there was a tussle and bustle about um, them increasing minimum wage and let me tell you that, that one has been swept under the carpet. Companies are leaving the country and everything you grew up to saying oh when I grow up I want to be a doctor, when I grow up I want to be this, when I grow up I want to be that. I'm in my early, I'm like, all those dreams. Am I still going to achieve them? Yes, I'm going to achieve them, but will I achieve them in this country? I'm just learning the the reality of being an adult. Because when I was young, oh, I want to be an adult, I want to be an adult, I want to be an adult. Now I'm an adult and I feel like I want to go back to being a child. Because, ha, if this was how my parents started life, I'm not sure I'll be in this in this world though if you've not subscribed to my channel please do quick to hit the subscribe button and turn on the post notification to get notified when i drop a new video if you're new here give this video a thumbs up as of rent it's alarming that you are going to rent a room self corn for like a million and something in a comfortable location to do base it over i base in lagos so when you're seeing people complain that oh their rent is for a room self corn is 800k. What job am I going to do to start life with 800k? What's the minimum wage? Do you want me to steal? The finances aspect of being an adult is crazy. You pay one bill today, you have another bill tomorrow. You have to buy something, you have to buy groceries, you have to buy food items, you have to do this, you have to do that. And I'm like, today, money has entered your account. That's it today. You're already distributing into different sources. Just thanking God that my parents are supportive in any way that they can. That I have these supportive parents that if I call, ha, they are, they are willing to answer. If they have it, they will give me. If they don't, they will always tell me to, okay, hold on, let's see what I will do. I'm trying as much as possible to be calm in every situation that I find myself in. I know it's not easy. It's literally not easy. <laughs> it's literally not easy. But um, I have God by my side. I have God by my side. We have our bad times. We have our good times. We have times that everybody's trying to do something and spirituality. Let's go down to spirituality. Uh, my spiritual life has been there it's just shaking but it has been there it has been there it has been there it's 
you know what i can't do anything without involving god i can't do anything without involving christ it's been long i decorated the altar the last time i did was i think february and i miss doing that i miss going to church to decorate the altar for god it's my favorite thing to do especially on weekends saturday um well my prayer life has been there the hallelujah challenge came and gone now we are in the mid fast with streams of joy pastor jerry is um natal abasi me going for mass i'm a catholic by the way anybody that has seen my previous vlog will know that i'm a catholic i'm a catholic so uh yeah that's it i just miss being home i won't lie i miss being home i miss being with my family my siblings especially friendship i came back from lagos in january and in february yet away and i had a little bit fallout to my friends but thank god we are in a good time right now not like we had an argument or anything not like that but i just came back and i wanted space and i i'm happy they understood that to give me space and i'm happy for the friends i have i'm happy for them being there not giving up on me or not feeling like oh she wants to be alone let's leave her let's let her be alone no not that I'm happy that oh they understood that I need space and for a little bit I need to breathe and they understood that I when I needed to talk they were there that's one thing I really like about my friends I don't have a lot of friends but the two or few people I have I'm so happy that God connected me to those people they've been encouraging we've talked about a whole lot of things we've discussed we've um shed more light on our different personalities where we need to improve and everything and i'm so happy that we do that cosmate let me tell you one thing i i know people fall out but my cosmates have been uh, on a good side lately i've i've not had any, anything to like complain about since this semester or this level started it started February, it started January, so I've not had anything to like talk about them or any complaint about them. Rather, I am my coach rep had, I am my ex coach rep had a fallout that led us to not talk to each other for a full semester. You understand? We had our differences, but we are settled, we are in a good time. I don't I feel like my camera is not straight. I feel like Owe has been nice to me. Not every time, oh, because they have stole my phone twice this Owe this past two years. But the first two year, two years I was here, it was literally not given. So this past two years um, has been nice for me. I'm so happy. I need finances. I need backup. You understand? Just go to Calabar and have some fun go to delta there's this place i always wanted to visit delta and calabar one is obudukatu ranch which is obudu mountain resort now and the next one is like a vacation site in delta state and yeah so um nigeria happened yeah everybody knows that nigeria happened the currency has gone up the currency has devalued i'm not talking about that let me not come and say oh you are trying to spoil nigeria ah, yeah so that's basically everything that has been happening in my life and it's been overwhelming sometimes i've cried sometimes i'm happy sometimes i'm in the middle having mood swings and everything but it's been a nice ride to be very honest it's been a nice ride that's everything that has happened everything that i want to update you guys about my updated life routine or my updated life stories mm, yeah that's it and um i i'm hoping that the second half of 2024 gives me a whole lot i literally want to change my phone if you notice my phone my video quality is really really bad and i feel like i need to improve that a whole lot nigeria is not going to help me help me because like the phone i wanted to buy has tripled in price and i have a lot of things to do so when money comes money goes like i said earlier said in the video i need to get things done i need to be consistent with what i'm doing especially my youtube like just everything 
and um, if you watch to the end of this video and you haven't subscribed baby what are you waiting for huh what are you waiting for please subscribe to my channel hit the subscribe button turn on the post notification to get this far when I drop a new video and yeah that's the I've come to the end of this video give this video a thumbs up honey give this video a thumbs up and I'm going to see you guys on the other side later on when I upload something new <laughs> I love you guys see you guys later